Hello and welcome to a new lesson for English learners in Grade 7. My name is Sanya Bozinovic and I will be your English teacher. Our today's lesson is Birds Connect Our World. By the end of today's lesson you will be able to talk about migratory birds and to organize the information from different sources. For this lesson you'll need your pencil and a notebook to make some notes. You will need your laptop, tablet or a mobile phone because there will be some links online and you will need your QR scanner to scan a code. Our today's topic is migratory birds. Have you ever thought about birds that travel from the north to the south and pass through Croatia? Some birds that come to Croatia to spend winter here or some birds that have nests here and the young ones and then fly away in the autumn. They are called migratory birds. If you don't know much about migratory birds, please stop this video and copy the words that you can see on this screen. A migratory bird is a bird that doesn't live all year long in the same place, but migrates. To migrate means to travel from one place to another at regular times. It's usually in spring and in the autumn. And the bird migration is the term that we are going to learn today. And we are going to learn about the flyways, the paths that those birds that migrate follow every year. Before we learn more about migratory birds, let's hear how much you know about birds. Take your notebook and try to answer these questions. Can you describe a bird? If you can pause this video, try to think about as many words as you need to describe a bird. Can you say what birds do? Can you name migratory birds that come to Croatia? Have you seen any? And do you know how important birds are for people? Think about these topics and write some sentences. Try answering these questions in your notebook. Here are some words that you need to describe a bird. Birds have feathers, perie. They have wings, krila. They have a beak, pion. Birds fly, lete. They live in a nest, gniezdo. They lay eggs, jaje. When eggs hatch, there are baby birds. We'll next focus on the verbs, verbs that describe the sounds that birds produce. We usually say that the birds sing, some birds sing, but there are a lot of verbs that describe what birds do. They tweet, they twitter, they chirp, they shriek, they cry, they hoot. Not all of them, but some birds. If you're working on this lesson in front of your computer, could you please pause this video, copy these words and see if you can add to the list of the verbs to describe what birds do and to the words to describe what birds look like and what birds do in their lives. In case you're wondering why we are talking about migratory birds now, it's the World Migratory Bird Day on the 9th of May, which is this week. So we'll talk about migratory birds and we'll learn more about them. If you haven't learned much yet, please go to the website worldmigratorybirdday.org and look for some information about how this day is observed in the world try to find some examples, and try to find some information about the activities in Croatia. Do you know about any activities in Croatia? Have you participated yet? If you have, please make some notes about it in your notebook. If you haven't, go to the worldmigratorybirthday.org and learn about it because 
This week, on the 9th of May, we observe the World Migratory Bird Day 2020. One of the activities that people do to observe world, the World Migratory Bird Day is called bird watching. Bird watching is not very popular in Croatia, but we learned a few words and we learned about the equipment that you need to go bird watching in case you get interested. Do you know the difference between an ornithologist and a bird watcher? These two words are the words for the people who like bird watching. What is the difference? If you don't know, an ornithologist is a scientist and a bird watcher is a person whose hobby is watching birds. If you haven't tried yet, let's learn what equipment you need. If you go bird watching, you need a good pair of binoculars because you want to spot every tiny detail of the bird you are watching. And then you need a good camera because you want to document it, you want to take a good picture of that bird. Of course, you need sensible clothing. If you wear bright colors, you'll scare the birds. And then you need a handbook which classifies birds by species because you want to learn about birds. If you haven't tried bird watching yet, please do. It's a lot of fun. All these birds, the birds on this slide and a few more slides, uh, have been seen in Croatia. Have you ever seen these birds? Can you name them in English? If you have, where was it? When did you see them? What were they doing? The first two birds are a gull and a heron. Galeb, Chaplia. Do you know a story about one of these birds? A starling, a swallow, Chvorak, Lasta. If you have seen them, do you remember when and where? Do you remember any activity? Do you know anything about one of these birds? They are a spoonbill and a wild goose. A spoonbill is Lichaka. Wild goose, Divya Guska. A kingfisher and a stork, Podomar Iroda. I'm sure you have heard stories about some of these birds, and I hope you'll see them one day if you go bird watching. You're going to hear a story about two birds which are quite famous in Croatia. Listen to the beginning of the story and complete the sentences. If you like the story, you can watch the complete video using the link that you can see on the screen. Bitly Birds Connect 1. People say true love waits, but what if it lasts for over 15 years? And what if it's not humans doing the waiting? Fifteen years ago, on a red rooftop in a small village in Croatia, Klebeta met Malena, and they've been together since. But every year, on the early morning of August 28th, Klebeta has to migrate towards the warm south. You see, Malena was heavily injured a long time ago, and she hasn't flown since. So, Klebetan travels 13,000 kilometers while Malena stays in the nest, all alone. But every year in March, Klebetan comes back. This March, he will return as he always does. And Malena can't wait to say hello again. I hope you enjoyed listening to the story about Klepetan and Malena. Let's see if you have all the sentences completed. Klepetan and Malena are storks. They first met 15 years ago. Their nest is on a house roof. Klepetan leaves in August and travels to the warm south. He returns in March. We are going to read a text about birds. While reading this text, please try to find the explanation or try to guess the meaning of the birds that you can see on the screen. The birds are flyaway, stopover, 
and the habitat loss, habitat loss or degradation. Birds in danger. I'm going to read the text for those of you who cannot pause the video now. The flyways used by migratory birds connect different habitats. Often, these long-haul flight paths cross deserts and open seas. Stopover sites along flyways are extremely important because birds need to rest and feed. Suitable habitats for wintering, stopover, staging and breeding sites are crucial for the survival of these birds. The ecological connectivity of these sites is important to the survival of migratory birds. Human activities are the main source for most dangers. Habitat loss or degradation can have a devastating effect on the survival chances of migratory birds. Other threats like poisoning, unsustainable use, collisions with man-made objects and climate change are also having a negative impact on migratory birds. World Migratory Bird Day 2020 will try to help raise awareness of the importance of ecological connectivity for migratory birds. Together, a great deal can be accomplished. I hope you like the text. What is a flyway? A flyway is that path that birds use to fly from north to south. So they do not go anywhere in the world. They know exactly where they are going and they fly along the flyways which are all the same every year. A stopover is a place where birds stop on their flight, on their journey from north to south. And why is that important? It is important because if the habitat is lost, if they cannot find the place that they left last year, or if the habitat is not the same quality, if there isn't food, there isn't shelter, what happens? Birds die on their way from, on their migratory way, or from, on, the, on their way from north to south. We are all linked and human activities can both be the source of dangers for birds and can help birds. Pause this video to learn more about how human activities can be the danger for the birds and can help birds. Some of the examples are on the screen. The dangers for the birds are the loss of the habitat, which is caused by the pollution, exploitation, agriculture, urbanization. And then there are hunters who hunt and kill illegally a lot of bird species. Human activities can help birds. We can end illegal hunting, we can prevent bird poisoning, we can stop threats from power lines, and we can stop throwing plastic into the water. Human activities can be to act responsibly towards all species, birds included. We are going to read another text about birds. This text is about birds in Croatia. You can scan the code that you can see on the screen. Use your QR scanner to scan the code and you will get the text to read. When you read the text, think about how you can ask the question beginning with how many and how you can ask a question beginning with when. Write these two questions and write the answers after you have read the text. I'll read the text for you now. Birds in Croatia. There are more than 370 bird species in Croatia an exceptionally high number for a country this size. How many? 78 species are registered as endangered species in Europe. How many? They are endangered due to disappearing habitats, especially wetlands, and due to poaching. 
The majority are in hard to reach areas such as mountain peaks, the areas such as the Neretva Delta on the Adriatic, along the Sava and Drava rivers in the north, close to the fish farms in the Pannonian Croatia. The liveliest seasons for bird watching are spring and autumn. When? Autumn signals both the departure of species that nest in Croatia and the arrival of visitors from Northern Europe and Asia. In spring, the species that spend their winters in the warmer climates of Africa return to their nest. At any time, you might spot a species that is just passing. Croatia is a bottleneck on the migratory route to and from Africa for many European bird species. Have you managed to ask your how many and when questions? Do you know now how many birds, species, bird species there are in Croatia? How many of them are endangered? Do you know now when the liveliest seasons for bird watching are when birds do certain activities? If you are not sure, go back to the text, read again and do this task. What can you do? What can I do? You can learn about birds, you can learn about birding, which is bird watching, and you will understand better the importance of the existence of birds. You can tell others about how important protecting migratory birds is. You can protect habitats, and if you have a garden, you can make your garden more bird friendly. That can help. It's time to pick a task for today's lesson. It can be either this or task number two. Listen carefully. If you decide to do this task, task number one, take a photo of a bird or find a picture of a bird and then name a bird, describe it, say if it's migratory, find at least one interesting information about that bird. For example, you can say where you have seen it, or you can say what you have learned about it. And you must explain why you have chosen, chosen that bird. Record your presentation, your talk, and don't forget to share it with your class. You can use your mobile phone, or you can, you can use one of the tools that you usually use for speaking, like Wokaroo. You can also choose this task, task number two. Speak for a minute about the World Migratory Bird Day. Say what is observed, when, how, explain what you can do to observe the day. And don't forget to record your talk and share it with your class and your teacher. Again, you can use your mobile phone or you can use one of the online applications, like for example, Walkaroo. Here's the checklist that will help you. Check that you have chosen either task 1 or task 2. Have you prepared your one minute talk? Have you organized your talk into the introduction, the main part and the conclusion? Have you used information from this lesson? And is your talk ready to be shared with your teacher and your classmates? If you would like to learn more about birds, you can choose one of these research topics. You can research and learn more about birds. For example, how do birds fly? Which birds don't migrate? Why do birds form flocks, like, like you can see in the picture on the screen? The last activity for today's lesson is your exit card. Read carefully the sentences on the screen, copy them and complete. Three facts about the importance of migratory birds. What three facts have you learned? Two birds I can name now. Can you name two birds? Write their names. 
One question I would like to find answer to. What else would you like to learn about birds? Complete your exit card and that's the last activity for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. You enjoyed learning about birds and I hope you will start observing the World Migratory Bird Day, which is this week on the 9th of May. Goodbye until our next lesson.